and then made 386 when it came in. We've got American Racing headers, we've got rockers, and we have our heads in cam as well. Right now on the factory computer, we went ahead and we wanted a tune for E85, so we changed the tune around a little bit so he can run on either 91 octane or E85. We're going to go ahead and make a hole. Um, I wouldn't say that we're pushing it to the edge, but it runs real well and we'll see what it does. This is Todd at ANC Performance. I wanted to do a quick overview of Eric Ortiz's build. He did go in and do our CNC ported Gen 2 heads and cam, but in addition, he has future plans to do a supercharger, so we didn't cut the heads in any way. So we, were, we retained the stock compression, not bumping the compression or anything to achieve these numbers. So he did do rockers, we did American Racing headers, Corsa exhaust, no cats. We did all the typical bolt-ons plus our heads cam package. In addition, because I know that he wanted future upgrades, we went ahead and we upgraded the injectors. We put E85 compatible fuel pumps in the tank. And should he take go to the next step and do a supercharger later, which he, which he spoke about, everything's completely set up. He won't have to upgrade anything. We'll be doing the supercharger, we can up the boost, and he's going to make really quick, easy 8-900 ruble horse numbers. Um, granted, we'll have to do some drive line upgrades, maybe a clutch at that point, and a few other things, but he's almost there. Going back to where he came in, Eric came in at 386 horsepower, as you can see, and he left at 537. Across the board, he gained tremendous amounts everywhere. You can see at some points, he's even gained as much as 167 rear wheel horsepower. Not only, the numbers don't always tell the whole tale, so not only did he pick up the numbers, but the car feels explosive. The car feels responsive. Many Viper owners will tell you that, hey, the car feels great up top, but it lacks response down low, it feels lazy, it revs slow. With this particular package, this car revs extremely quick, it's extremely responsive, he has power right now, even at quarter throttle and half throttle. He doesn't have to go full throttle in order to squeeze the power out of the car. The car feels phenomenal, and he hasn't even driven the car yet. We did two tunes on the car. So we've got a pump gas tune and an E85 tune. The E85 tune made slightly more torque. Roughly, they're the same horsepower all the way through, and torque numbers are similar. I think when he picks it up, he's going to post himself and find that uh, you'll see his real response in relation to it and the car speaks for itself it's phenomenal so everybody that can come in can expect to see big numbers like this if you're coming with a relatively stock car or even one that wasn't put together well I think that anybody that comes in is going to be ecstatic with this heads cam package the drivability is better than stock uh, with our tune and the way everything was put together there is absolutely no hiccups in the car um, it's just phenomenal all the way through and anybody that does this is going to feel the same way this is Todd over at ANC Performance. We've got Eric Ortiz coming back from his first drive, and I like to get real-world impressions, not something hypothetical or anything else. So we're going to uh, see what his thoughts are on his first drive after picking up his Heads Cam GTS and uh, get a real-world opinion. So let's walk out and let's find out.
I was just telling him the way it sounds and the power you feel feels like it's stuck. As in, like, that's the way it was built. Because <laughs> it's so smooth. How does it feel power wise? The response wise? Oh my wise. god. It just. I was telling him, like, just. I tap the gas, just holding the clutch in while I'm going, and it just goes from 3,000 to 6,000 before I even know that it's there. <laughs> and I'm not used to that. Gotta get used to that, but oh my god. This feel like a little difference, noticeable, or night oh, and day, or what is happening? Night and day. Yeah. I, I'm surprised about how smooth the ride is. It's so smooth, and I was expecting it to just kick more, just you know, the, oh, like the, the shifting. Yeah. yeah, but it just explodes with the power, and I just you know press on the gas, and like you said you could feel the torque all the way through, and it's especially I feel the high end gain there too. Oh, it's you yeah. Got huge, I, you've, you've got like it. 170 <laughs> rear, uh, rear wheel horse gain at some points. Yeah, it's just amazing. I, I can't believe it. Well, there it is. There's a real-world <laughs> opinion.